<laughs> it's about time. I think. I never really can tell. <laughs> but I'll tell you. Because you're a loyal fan. Of course, you have to be if you're up at 12 at night. Or is it in the morning? Again, I can never tell. But regardless, I am back. And I have just one question to ask you. Have you ever played Skin the Cat? <laughs> a marshmallow. Mm. Tastes like Easter. Well, with all my snacks out of the way, welcome to... I'm going to take my glove off so I don't kill myself. Don't worry, this isn't actually sharp. It's plastic. I didn't just put a knife in my mouth. Not that skilled. Welcome to... Another live scream ah! of terror. I haven't done one of these in a minute, so figured it was time to get back to you guys and see how everyone was doing. Got my bag of fireside marshmallows. Got my agua. Kids, remember to drink agua, especially on Halloween when you're wearing masks and makeup. And it's really hot, especially here in Florida. I don't know where you live, but you should probably have water. Regardless. But welcome everyone to this fine chat and live stream. Live stream we have here tonight. I'm going to move my headset slightly like this because when I have it over my ears, I just hear my muted voice and I can actually kind of hear myself. So it sounds a little bit better to me, but on your end, it probably sounds just about the same. Uh, so, welcome back to the live stream and back to Haunt Former. I understand that I've been uploading quite a bit as of recent. I just did another sneak peek video today. I did the Child's Play film review. Um, I did the Child's Play ranking video. Check that out if you haven't seen it already, if you like Chucky. And I've done just about a lot of different things over the past several weeks. So those videos have been going really good. You guys seem to like them. And that's all the more reason for me to keep making them. Especially I feel like the views are starting to increase more and more because more of you guys are, are getting back into the season again. Especially with next month with the real sneak peeks coming out. So that's really exciting to uh, see. Uh, so I'm just checking, making sure the live stream's working okay. Oh, wow, we have 33 people on so far. Man, you guys are up really late. But then again, I keep forgetting that it's summer vacation for a lot of you. Uh, I'm in college, so really every day feels kind of like a summer vacation, especially because I'm taking a lot of online classes. So nothing quite feels as established as it did in high school, middle school, or elementary. But regardless, I am back and we're going to get talking. I'm going to open up the chat for you guys in a couple minutes. And you can ask me questions and I'll ask you questions and stuff. So we'll do that. Uh, I also wanted to test out something. Not sure if I'll have time to do it tonight. But we'll see where, it, where the night leads. Uh, but I actually wanted to test out playing a movie on my computer and watching it alongside you guys, seeing if that actually works, seeing if I get monetized, I mean, demonetized for it. Uh, I don't know how that exactly works, um, but I'm, I might try it out. And I have the perfect movie for us to watch on such a late night, uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street. So we'll see if, if that actually works. If it does work, I'm going to ask you guys if you would like to have live streams where we just sit down and watch an entire movie and like do a commentary on it or whatever. So you can you can definitely let me know what you think of that and if so what movies I should do. Also, thank you to Cuphead's Crazy Adventures for donating $1.99. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it anyways. And he says buy pizza for your props. You know I should. I haven't fed him in a while and uh I haven't seen my dog, so 
it's probably not a good sign. Uh, but yeah, so it won't work. I'm guessing it it may not work. Like I said, this tonight's really the test trial. So if it doesn't work, then that that's kind of expected. But again, we'll see what happens. So we can also go on YouTube if that doesn't work too, and just kind of browse random videos. I'm really open to ev anything and everything. Uh, yes, and never feed your props after midnight. If Gremlins taught us one thing, it's to never feed creepy things after midnight. But they actually were kind of cute at the beginning, so can't really can't really you know get rid of that. Anyways, uh, so I'm trying to think of there was a few things I wanted to talk about. Okay, so. Things in the Halloween and horror news. We'll, we'll dedicate this to a little bit of news time. So, guess the big talk for Halloween fans right now is Child's Play 2019 is in theaters. Uh, if you saw it, let me know in the comments. I'm looking at the comments on my phone here because I can't for some reason on my computer. Not sure why that is, but that's how it goes. Um, I saw it. I personally liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it quite a bit. I'd probably even get it on DVD, maybe not Blu-ray, but on DVD. And I thought it was a really well done film. Mark Hamill did a great job as always. Gabriel Bateman and uh, Aubrey Plaza, they all did great jobs. Actually, if you're a big movie buff and you like movie props, they're actually auctioning a lot of the props from the film on eBay. I tried to snag a few, but the prices were getting a little too high with the shipping. And nothing was really Chucky related. Like they didn't have anything from the doll. It was all like side props, a lot of costume and wardrobe stuff. And I'm, I'm not really going to hang that up in my room. But there were like the crime scene photos. I don't want to spoil anything, but there are crime scene photos in the movie. And they had those for sale. They were like 30 bucks. So I bid 35, but someone beat me out. And I'm not going to pay more than like 35 bucks for photos. So it wasn't really worth it to me. But regardless, it's 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 nice that we're in a time where I'm not a big fan of remakes and and bringing things back. I feel like they should just keep the originals where they are. But I'm I'm glad we're in a time where we can see the beloved characters that we all like on the big screen. And what it does really is it brings these characters back to light in the public eye and in our eyes. And like right now, so even if people saw this new movie and didn't like it, maybe they're going back and watching the old ones and finding a love for something that they never knew they had before. So that's that's a really great thing about about retreading an old property, similar to what uh, similar to what Halloween did last year. And speaking of Halloween, Halloween Two is confirmed for 2020. So that's pretty interesting too. That's another cool news thing. So recently, Jason Blum of Blumhouse Productions, you know, those people that made the Happy Death Day films, they made Get Out, they did Truth or Dare. Uh, they've done some hit or miss things. They've done some great things and some not so great. But overall, their track record is pretty good. And they did the, the Halloween from last year. Well, now... Next year, we're getting the sequel to that movie. Jamie Lee Curtis is confirmed back. So that's exciting. Um, I'm not sure where they're going to go with it because Michael Myers is kind of crispy now. So maybe we'll get crispy Michael Myers, like the crispy Colonel from KFC. But the good news uh, with crispy Michael is we technically got crispy Michael at the end of Halloween 2. And then in Halloween 4, he had the crispy hand. I like saying crispy. So regardless of where the series goes, it's still neat to yet again have Michael Myers on the screen, which perhaps even alludes to Halloween props coming out soon. You never know. I don't know. But it's exciting regardless. Uh yeah, so sorry, I'm just I'm <laughs> KFC howdy folks, it's dinner time. Is it bad that I'm afraid of Ghostbusters? Well, it depends on what you're afraid of. Uh, the library ghost at the beginning is actually pretty frightening, where it's like, Rah! so I can't blame you for that. But Slimer's kind of goofy looking. But he, he, I mean, that's the point. It's supposed to be funny, too. It's supposed to be creepy and funny. So we have a, 
a question comment from the Halloween Kid 101. What props do you think Spirit will have? I I really wish I knew more about about uh, Spirit. They try to keep things so secret and 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 compact that it's really hard to unpack what they've they've kind of packed up in their in their little secret agendas and and whatnot. But we have seen a slight glimpse into what they're going to be coming out with in 2019 with these few sneak peeks. Uh, the difficult thing with these ones is they're mostly online only, so it doesn't really give us a good idea of themes, plus they're all really expensive, which I can get into in a minute if you guys want to talk about the, the pricing and stuff. But uh, I saw a lot of the things that they're showing at the Halloween and Party Expo, and a lot of this stuff is warranted of a bigger price than what they would probably want in stores, but some of the prices are a little too high, like 500 bucks is a lot of money to spend, uh, perhaps not for a professional haunter, but especially for a home haunter. 500 bucks is like what I spend in a season. <laughs> for one thing, that would be really hard to spend, uh, especially when a lot of us are very young. Even though I'm 20, it, it takes a while to build up 500 bucks, and you'd rather buy like a car or something than than an animatronic Halloween decoration. So. Yeah, it's 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 definitely going to be an interesting year at Spirit. I'm definitely getting the Good Guy doll from Child's Play 2. If you saw my ranking video, then you know Child's Play 2 is my favorite in the bunch. And I've always wanted a non-scarred Chucky. I don't have really... Well, I have my one Chucky over there. He's, he's laying on the floor taking a nap. But I really want the original Chucky. And this is the closest thing we've got. And I don't feel like paying 500 bucks for the Trick or Treat Studios one. So I was going to pre-order it today, actually. But then I'm like, you know, you know that? I don't know if it's just me. But do you ever go into Spirit and you just, you want to get it in the store? Does that make sense? I like going in. I like, this is like a nostalgic experience for me, going to Spirit Halloween. I like going into the store. And you see the prop, you go up to the prop you want. It's on display. You're like looking at, checking it out, making sure it looks good. Okay, I want to spend my money on this. You have your coupon ready. You go, you find the box, you bring it up, you're all excited. Maybe you even get a little accessory thing here or there to compliment it. You go up, they ring it up, you use your coupon, throw out the bills, and then you get to put it in the backseat of your car, maybe you snap a photo. That to me was always what I used to do growing up getting animatronics and that's still an experience that I like to have S plus the shipping's kind of expensive sometimes so i think i think it's nice to get the experience of getting a prop from the store maybe that's just me cuz i'm weird but that's that's just how it goes uh, does anyone have any fond memories of Spirit? Does anyone, like, remember a vivid time where maybe it wasn't even Spirit, but just a Halloween memory in general that you want to share? And I'll I'll try to read it if I can see it. Mac, are you going to see Toy Story 4? Yes, I will be seeing Toy Story 4. Just not sure when. Because Child's Play was my top priority this weekend, so I had to make sure to see that. And then coming up this weekend is Annabelle Comes Home, which I need to see and review and do all that. I also have downstairs in the garage, which is right below me, uh, I have to review, I'm going to try to anyways, the Morbid Enterprises Annabelle for you guys. So you can, you can see an Annabelle prop going along with the movie. And then I'll get around to seeing Toy Story at some point. I know how you feel. I got the rosy antique doll and I slept with it. Very cute. <laughs> Mac, something you should bring up is the import tariff and everything of theirs is made overseas. That's true. With with a lot of tariffs and stuff, they, they have to boost the prices. Uh, and I'm fine with a price boost, especially if the quality can go up. But there has to be a certain ceiling 
if you remember back in, I want to say 2013, the the year where we had a lot of the clown props, like the thrashing clown and the cemetery angel and the limb eating zombie boy. Most of the props, the average price of the props was 140 to about 180 bucks. I can remember like there was a, some of them were 130, a few of them were 200. Maybe you had the, the licensed one that went up a little past 200, but everything was in that, that ballpark. So you would never pay more than 200 for most of the props. Today, it seems like everything's at 200 or plus, which is fine, but I hope that we can maybe get kind of back into the, to, to the medium 100 range or at least an improvement in quality to justify a price jump. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to see pickle, pickle, Rick, Rick and Morty. We're getting memes in here. I love memes. I sleep with my Rick and Morty plushies. Do I have PS4? No, I don't. I have Xbox one. And speaking of Xbox one, this is another thing. Uh, horror news. If you're a gamer, uh, they just confirmed, I think Lionsgate, was it Lionsgate? I think one of those film companies just announced they are make. it was at uh, E3 or whatever, the gaming thing. They announced that they're making another Blair Witch video game for PC and for uh, Xbox. I don't know about PS4, but they are making a Blair Witch game where it's going to be like a first person and you like you're holding a like a camera in it, but you're not seeing through the camera, so it's not like a rip off of Slenderman. So that's kind of cool. I've never been a huge Blair Witch person, but I would maybe get the game if it's cheap enough, because usually those games aren't like the sixty dollar games; those are like a thirty dollar game. So maybe I'm excited to watch Annabelle Comes Home. I am as well. Let's keep going. Do you think we will get an Oogie Boogie prop this year? That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I don't think so, but I, that would be very cool. You have a good creative brain. What is your favorite prop? Whenever people ask me, my favorite prop is uh, Spasm from Morbid Enterprises. The original Spasm, not the, not the new one. The original latex one who's sitting... Oh, he's right back there. I'd get up and show you, but then I got to move. But maybe I will in a little bit, but he's my favorite. I went to Spirit. This is Andrew. I went to Spirit in 2010. My store was small. I remember seeing the remote control zombie and cage beast. Good throwback. My mom's dad, Pa, had a scooter since he was on the old side. Every Halloween until he unfortunately passed. I'm sorry to hear about that. When my legs got tired, I would ride on the scooter, and I loved it. That's that's a good memory, though, to have. Do you think the more tall the animatronic, the more it will be? Uh, yes and no, because some props that are really tall uh, don't have a lot of substance to them. They're, like, hollow, and they use, like, those thin poles. So I really think it's about the mechanisms of the prop and the clothing and, and what it's made out of. Because the materials will cost a lot. Because you can get a super tall one that's just a plastic head on top of a, a, a wet wire body with clothes on it. And it could be 50 bucks. So not always, but but if the taller and if it has more complex motions like the uh, Rotten Ringmaster, that would, that would explain why he's a little bit more expensive. Did you see the potential leaks? Uh... When you're when you're seeing leaks online, remember that those are mostly fake. There might be some truth sprinkled in there, but I wouldn't I wouldn't trust it. Plus, I think it's better to just let the sneak peeks come out. They're a little more exciting than having everything in advance. So, I mean, there's a there's, you know, there's pros and cons for everything. Do you do the do? I love the do. Yeah, I'm so, Oh, wait, man, we got a lot of comments. We got a lot of comments. I'm sorry if I if I didn't get to yours and you really want me to answer, just keep sending it. You can copy, paste it. Eventually, I'll get to your comment. Um, 
I had hugs set up on Halloween and somebody wanted to hug him. It's kind of cute. I don't know if I would want to hug hugs. Plus, he is a robot, so eventually when he jumps to hug you, he, he just goes back, so you'd kind of miss your hug. I mean, you could try. Um, there's a special to the shipping. Yeah, they do have certain uh, shipping specials, so I would recommend if you're someone who likes to order your stuff online, find a time when they have a sale and, and jump on it, so that way you can get either free shipping or 20% off or whatever, because that's going to help you. I would never recommend especially from spirit Halloween and Michael's never buy something without a coupon unless it's super small, but like Michael's, for example, they raise their prices on purpose because they're assuming you're going to use a coupon. If you try to buy a Lemax spooky town thing for 80 bucks, why, why do it when you can get a 50% off coupon and pay 40 bucks and they don't care. So that's, that's what I do. And speaking of Lemax Spooky Town, when I see Lemax Spooky Town, that's officially kind of to, in my brain the start of of Halloween to me. And I know that's a, a early for a lot of people. They're like, "What? How can you say Lemax Spooky Town is the start of Halloween?" Well, because whenever I see it, it just signifies like, "Okay, I got to put up my Spooky Town." Then my room becomes even more spooky, though. Though it's pretty spooky already, and it it it's able to get the ball rolling, if you will. And my spooky town should be going up next month. Uh, as soon as I get the new piece that I want for 2019, I get one piece per year and it's fun to do. So I recommend if you want to start a spooky town collection of your own, what I can recommend is just get one piece because if you want to have this huge collection, you can't do that in one year. So buy one piece that you really like, save up money, get a nice piece this year. Then next year, get another really nice piece. And, you know, even in, in two years, you're going to have two really great pieces, get a, a few little things, bada bing, bada boom. You got a nice little spooky town. I've been doing that for probably like five years now, and I have a pretty large collection. So just, you know, get the ball rolling. Mac, I have a leak. It's an animated $500 Mac prop. Shh, Derek, you're not supposed to know about that. Will you purchase anything so far on November 1st? Uh, well, the thing is, you can't really use the November 1st discount uh, on online stuff, and most of the stuff's online only, so I'm going to say no. Um... Because the Chucky, the one that I want, I will I'll be getting before November first. So yeah. What's your favorite prop of this year? My favorite prop, if you're counting spirit wise, is the good guy doll. Uh, if you're counting in general, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's it's. It's hard to say because, again, a lot of the companies ha haven't released their stuff yet. Which, speaking of which, I've been checking, and maybe you have too, I've been checking store websites to see if they've put up their Halloween yet and still nothing. I think we're going to have to really wait until after the 4th of July before we get that kind of stuff. But then after 4th of July, you kind of have the back to school, so you never really can win. But I've been checking Michael's. Big Lots, Target, and Home Depot. Well, not really Michael's because they never put stuff online. But really, the main ones are Home Depot, Target, and Big Lots. Because those three websites typically put their stuff out rather early. And it's a safe bet you could find some good stuff. Any ideas for this year's haunt themes? Well, if you're talking about my haunt, it already has a theme. And you can check out the trailer. Just go down in my trailer. Just click on my channel and go to the Insomnia. That's the name of this year's haunted house. It's a nightmare themed haunted house. And I have something special to show you guys in just a moment. So bear with me and we'll get there. My at home has them and they're all the way across town. Yeah, I'm, I don't really have any in my area. I had to go to Illinois to find that one that I did the video of. Wubba lubba dub dub. How are you tonight, Haunt? I am great. How are you, Mr. Sir Spirit? 
I remember in 2011 when I saw Jumping Spider for the first time in the Vampire Cemetery, but I also remember seeing Lurching Vampire tower over me. I miss being eight. Yeah, have it seems like the, the props always shrink, but it's really just us getting bigger. But when you're a kid, they seem so much more intimidating until you're standing like this at it, and you're like, eh, it's not that scary anymore. It's still fun, though. Did you buy the Sally? No, I, I, I did not. Click. Have you seen The Exorcist? Many times. I've seen The Exorcist 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. It's a quote from Beetlejuice. Yes, I've seen The Exorcist many times. It's my second favorite horror film, so... I love that movie, and I would not, like you mentioned, I would not mind seeing another animatronic from that movie. Though, I, I've got to say, uh, the Morbid Enterprises Reagan's really good. And I've, I've told myself this, actually. It's funny you mentioned it. If I don't see anything appealing at Spirit this year, which I probably will, but in some weird chance, if I don't see anything appealing at Spirit this year, then I'm going to get the Reagan animatronic. So we'll wait. It, that's a waiting game, but I'm pretty sure they're going to have some good stuff this year. It's almost the end of the, the I was going to say millennium, end of the decade. They have to finish out strong before 2020. Mac, does any of your spirit locations have signs up? I haven't checked. Uh, I know there's at least three in my area. There is the one that Jaden's videos and I go to, the old abandoned Toys R Us. There is one that's in a plaza, like a by an old Walmart, and that one's really small. I hate the small ones because you can never find anything in there, and they never have the theme set up. And then the one that I'll probably be going to the most is the same one I went to a lot last year, which is an old Walgreens. No, I think it's an old CVS. It's one of those two. But that's like, I mean, if I get I got in my car now, I could probably get there in less than 10 minutes. Like it's like up the street. So that one uh, will be the main one that I go to. And I will check soon to see if they have the signs out and available because it's pretty fun to see the signs. It's just a sign, but oh well. Man, 54 people. I keep refreshing it. More people join. Hello. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here. Enough said. Let's keep going. Who's your favorite character from the year without a Santa Claus? Not very Halloween oriented, but I like what you're thinking. You know, it's actually funny because I was watching a clip from that today. I love the old Rankin Bass movies. Uh, my favorite character from the year when I was Santa Claus? Well, I mean, I like Santa in that movie, but I gotta say Snow Misers. I, I love Snow Miser. I go to a spirit in an abandoned Toys R Us. I also do. Coinky dink. I agree with you about the end of the decade. Let's name best animatronics of this decade. That, that's a fun idea. Uh, you know, that's actually a good idea. All right, I want you... I'm going to knock my headset off. I want you to name your favorite animatronic of the decade in the comments. Go on, you can do it. I believe in you. Name your favorite animatronic in of the decade. Of, and by decade, I mean from... From, uh, well, I was going to say from 2009. No, from 2010 to 2019. Well, they're not all out for 2019. But you know what I mean. That span. What's your favorite animatronic uh, from Spirit Halloween? Uh, Bloody Bag of Jokes. Good one. Uh, Uncle Charlie. The 2010 Michael Myers. Scorch Scarecrow, Roaming Rosie, Wacky Mole Clown, Coat Rack Monster, the 2011 Jimmy Frankenstein. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, ghost Face. I've always wanted that Ghost Face. If anyone knows where I can find one, uh, is the Despacito Skeleton. Jimmy uh, from Jason 2008. Little out of the decade, but okay. Harbinger, Tug of War Clowns. Wow. Wow, you really like that one. Uh, oof. I'm not sure if I remember that. Michael Myers, Ghostface, uh, Wacky or Mole Clown, 
Wacky Mole Head Clown, Jack Skellington, Wacky Mole and Lunging Lily, Pumpkin Nester, Rising Reagan, Pumpkin Patch Prowler, as a tongue twister, Pumpkin Patch Prowler, but I'm gonna say that 10 times fast, Pumpkin Patch Prowler, Pumpkin Patch Prowler, we can't do it, Pumpkin Nester, you remember Pumpkin Nester? He was a big deal. Uh, Sweet Dreams. Ghostface. Hazmat Zombie. Uh, the Werewolf from, from last year. Oh, from Home Depot. I like that one, too. I, sh I should have got that. See? It's like American Werewolf in London. Uh, Wheelchair Mac. Ghostface. Mad Scientist. Menacing Molly. Wheelchair Granny. That can't be right. Rising Doll from 2015. Why do you like Halloween so much? You can watch my video uh, called uh, My Story, Haunt Former and Mac. That'll sum it up pretty well. You should go check it out. It's kind of a long video, but I hope you'll watch it. I put my heart into that. <laughs> Just kidding. But you should check it out. Uh, Burlap Horror. Looming Straw Man, Witch of Souls. So we've, you know what's interesting? Is that everyone almost gave a different prop. And I, that's, that to me is one of the reasons why I love horror and Halloween so much. Because of the creativity. The creativity of Halloween is better than any other holiday, despite your, your views on it. Because personally, I don't know how you feel, but to me, Christmas and Easter give me like a like a warm feeling. It's also because of my beliefs, because I am a Christian, so I do have you know a very close religious experience with those holidays. But when it comes to Halloween, there's so much creativity that goes into the holiday that it's unlike any other holiday. Like with Easter. You have, you know, you have the crosses out on Easter Sunday. That's a nice thing. You have the Easter bunny, eggs, and chicks. Same thing all the time. Christmas, you have Santa, elves, snowman. Uh, Fourth of July, you got American flags. You know, Thanksgiving, you have the turkey. St. Patrick's Day, you got green, leprechaun, pot of gold. It's just all so, like, plain. Then you get the Halloween and there is such a vast amount of creativity. Like, just the fact that everyone listed a different, a different, like, animatronic that they love goes to show how interesting of a holiday it really is. You have aliens, you have werewolves, zombies, skeletons, demons, ghosts, vampires, witches. Not even that, just, just people in general. Horror movies just about twisted people. Then you got the slashers, Michael Myers, Chucky, blah. It's cool. I, I like that. If you're asking what's my favorite of, of the last, of since 2010, in terms of which ones I've got, which ones I've bought, uh, mm, that's tough. All right, I'll give you two that I've been thinking of. First one is Death Row. Uh, Death Row was a big hit when he came out. He actually sold out pretty fast. And to me, he's a great example of a prop that's made well, does what he's supposed to do, remains creepy, and looks interesting. I've had him since, I don't know, I got him the year after he came out, so just do that math. And he is continued to work until this day he's never broken he's always worked hit i've i made an electric chair for him and his head has rubbed on it so if you look at his head the paint's worn off but it's not a big deal and he's worked every year and he's a great prop the other prop that i'm gonna give because it was more of a surprise to me that i would like it so much is the electrified corpse uh, I'm not a big hanging prop person, as you probably know, but he is one of the few animatronics that actually scares me because every time, almost without fail, when he goes off, it, it startles me. And that to me is a sign that the animatronic works well and he's never broken down really. So I got to give him points. Those are probably my two. 
But in terms of which ones I never got that I wish I did, the the uh, 2011 Frankenstein and Ghostface would, would be pretty nice. And Reagan. And Reagan. But it's, it's very cool. Got to split. Keep it spooky. You too. You too. Um, let's see. Any hints to your haunt this year? I actually already released my trailer. I don't know if maybe you guys didn't see it because it was about a month or two ago. No, it was last month. It was in May. Go to my channel and go and look for the Insomnia Haunted House trailer. This year is called The Insomnia. It's essentially a dream world where... Okay, I found this on the... <laughs> Siri started searching. Uh, it's it's essentially a dream world where nightmares kind of come to life. I know that's kind of cliche, but it's essentially uh, creatures. Just it's just anything weird from nightmares. It's meant to feel very like psychedelic, very odd. It's supposed to like have a lot of flashing neon lights and colors. I just wanted to be really creative this year because uh, next year I'm I'm playing it a little bit safer. I've already kind of decided on what theme I want, and I'm not going to give that away. But I have a safer theme for next year that I know you guys will like, but it's not very creative on my end. I mean, it will be, but but in terms of doing something really original, I thought this year would be a great way to end uh, the decade with a haunt that I think is going to be entertaining for everybody. And uh, I do have, actually... A little, a little surprise for you guys, because I haven't done a video on this yet. I'm actually going to be working on it this week, so I can have it out next weekend. But let me briefly see if I can switch on my screen share. One sec. Don't worry, I'm going to go back to your comments. Am I screen sharing? Hang on. Here we go. All right, so I wanted to show you guys the layout of the haunt. So this is this is the <laughs> Max says nothing Siri. Yo, what's up, boy? That's funny. Good one, Max. So this is this is the haunted house layout for this year. I just made this probably like two days ago and it's very different than any other year. I try to always mix it up when it comes to the layouts because I never want it to feel stale for people. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is the layout for 2019, the insomnia. And I had to call it the insomnia because there's already, uh, an insomnia haunted house. So I had to call it the insomnia, but I kind of like the insomnia because it is a place it's in the insomnia world. So this is the layout and I'm going to do an in-depth video on all of this. So don't worry if you're not paying attention. Uh, but this is, this is the entrance. This is that door. Uh, and this is where I shoot a lot of my videos. This would be like where the cemetery goes. And over here is the exit. This is the third garage door. If I had to mark it off, uh, this is probably garage door number one. This is garage door number two. And this is garage door number three. So when you enter underneath that wooden uh, like panel, you know, where I'm trying to think what was there last year. Well, you know, where there was that uh, like electric fence that I had and stuff and like the, the bushes. Well, this year it's very different. It's going to be a bedroom and I'm going to make a fake bed prop. I'm going to put a person sleeping in the bed. I'm going to put a TV right about here towards the very end of the hallway, a TV, and then a little like nightstand with a flickering lamp or maybe a haunted lamp, depending on what I see in stores this year. And of course the terror TV is going to be there. So it'll kind of look like a scene out of like poltergeist. This is to get people thinking about going to sleep. And then the rest of the maze is kind of the, the nightmare of of what you're what you're seeing in your dreams which was alluded to with the haunt trailers with with the organization putting people through shock treatments which is what the next uh room's going to be and in the shock treatment room we're going to have death row 
but I'm going to mix it up a little bit this year. I'm going to actually put a black sheet over his head so you can't see his face, kind of like what I did in the haunt trailers. He's going to kind of be the character that that's called Mark, and he's going to be shocked uh, to stay awake, which is a good contrast from the bedroom. And I'm also going to probably have electrified corpse to go with all the, uh, the electric shock stuff in this room. Then we're going to go to the warehouse of wool gather. Hope you like that that little uh, alliteration. Uh, wool gather is just another name for a dream because, you know, kind of like gathering sheep or counting sheep. It's uh, it's called a wool gather. And that's kind of boring. But anyways, there's going to be like right along this wall. I want to have a bunch of boxes or crates kind of to look like a, a storage facility or a warehouse, kind of like uh, kind of like the boiler room from a nightmare on Elm street. And with some fog in here, maybe, and then I'm gonna have some zombies, uh, but not, but not all the zombies. Just maybe, like, maybe like one zombie because the cadaver cavern right here is where I'm gonna have the rest of the zombies and perhaps zombie babies towards the later half because I want this kind of to all blend together, kind of like how nightmares or dreams blend together. Have you ever had a nightmare or a dream and it seems like it just it just switches location and you don't even realize it? That's what I want to, to do. Uh, so you go from the warehouse to the cadaver cavern. You're going to see all these corpses and dead bodies. Towards the end, you're going to see the zombie babies. Then we go into the trauma of toys. And this is going to be a two-room hallway. And the trauma of toys is going to have various dolls, teddy bears, just creepy toys in general that are going to be popping out at people. Uh, this is probably where the good guy doll is going to go that I want to get. Although this isn't really like a theme thing for horror movies, but it's going to be a little nod to people like, hey, look, here's Chucky. Uh, we're going to have like bears hanging from the wall and maybe someone in a bear mask. So oh, it's just going to be an interesting room. Then one of my favorite parts is I'm bringing back clowns because I haven't done clowns in a few years because of the end had nothing to do with clowns and uh, abandoned kind of had clowns, but not exactly wasn't the main focus. So I'm bringing back clowns in a neat way. So the clown corridor is going to have uh, hanging body bags, hanging body bags from the ceiling. But the difference is, whereas most body bags just contain, well, obviously a body with some blood in it, these body bags will have body parts, blood, and balloons. And the balloons will be nice because they'll bounce around in here and people will be People will get hit with the balloons, but it won't hurt because they're balloons. So, yeah, clowns will be really cool. In here, I'm going to find a lot of my old clown props and put them on display. Perhaps I'll get a clown prop from Spirit this year to put in here. And I have a few clown masks, so my scare actors can can chill out in here. So, uh, and up next, we have the spider nest. And the spider nest is a, a, another two-way hallway similar to the trauma of toys. And the spider nest is essentially going to be creepy animals, emphasis on spiders. I'm going to have a lot of cobwebs in this area and a few of the cocoons that are hanging. I'd like to have some cool like black lights to emphasize the white in the cobwebs. And then, of course, I'm going to have someone wearing the arachnoid mask that I got from trick-or-treat studios to kind of be the main focal point of this room. Finally, there's going to be a vortex, a vortex of dreams. And uh, the vortex of dreams is just kind of a way of sending people off. I might have one more final scare actor in the corner here to, to let people out, and then they'll get their candy and snacks, and then they'll be able to go on trick-or-treating. So that's essentially the layout. And, uh, for all of you wondering, where am I going to be in, in terms of scare acting? Well, I kind of go everywhere, but I'm likely going to be playing the insomniac or the character that you saw in the trailer, the guy with many, many eyes, the vertigo. I'll probably be in the bedroom, I'm assuming, because I like to be towards the entrance so I can maintain everything. Uh, and then also... Um, for the for the two rooms that I didn't mention, the first, this is the storage space. And I started this idea last year because it really helps because there's so many boxes 
and miscellaneous parts that that I can't um, that I can't find a place to put. So I mark off with tarp a section of the haunt for just putting all of the storage stuff. Plus, the way the garage is positioned, there's a refrigerator right here, and I'd rather not have people touch the refrigerator. So I mark that off with the storage space, and it has like a, a two bird with one stone kind of thing. Uh, the other thing is the scare zone. And the scare zone is sadly not my idea because it's a really smart idea. It's actually from a guy called Kevin Jackal Johnson. You probably have seen his videos on YouTube. He doesn't do Halloween videos anymore. He's actually now a politician in Canada. Uh, but he used to do some really cool Halloween tutorial videos, and they've always been some of my favorites here on YouTube. So I recommend you check them out. But uh, the scare zone is a blocked off room. Notice the guests cannot get into this room. But there are going to be either, if, I, if it's made out of wood, cuts in the wall, or if it's made out of tarp, slits in the wall. Where scare actors inside of here, this is also where a lot of the costumes will be, uh, can pop out and scare the guests. And if you notice, because of the great way I tried to position it, you can actually get people from all four angles. You can scare them there, you can scare them here, you can scare them here, and you can scare them here. And it can even be the same actor. The same actor can scare them, boom, in the warehouse. Then they go around the corner, and boom, get them again. Then they gotta wait a little bit till they make their way around here, get them in the clown way, and finally, at the spider's nest, you can scare them right there. So it it's a four-way scare intersection. And I think more people should use the scare zone uh, because it, it really saves actors and saves time with scares. And it kind of builds up a scare when you're like, where's the actor going to be? The only issue is when you have a scare zone next to a cadaver area, a clown, and a spider nest, you kind of have to figure out what costume are they going to wear. So I haven't figured that out completely. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because it's a nightmare anyways, and nightmares can bleed over. So if there's no more questions on the walkthrough, I'll go back. I'll, I'll put my face back on the camera because I know that's what you want to see, of course. <laughs> but that's essentially the layout for this year. I'm going to do an in-depth video kind of like I did here. Uh, and you can watch kind of my narration of how the haunt's going to work this year. Um, but yeah, yes, they could change the mask potentially. I don't think they will just because of, you know, the timing of it. A lot of people walk through the haunt really fast, but that's not a major concern of mine. So, yep. So that's pretty much it. All right. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go back to Google Hangouts. I have to find out where it is. Here it is. And you can see my endless cycle of screens. All right, I'm back. So I'm going to take any more questions you guys have, and then I'm going to try to put a movie in the computer in a minute. I want to see if that actually works. You know, I kind of doubt it will. But what the hey, it's late anyways, and you guys are probably tired. I'm a little bit tired, uh, so why not just see if a movie will work? I'm not going to watch the whole thing, of course, but it's good to know in the future. If it does, then that way I can plan accordingly for next time. I thought of two themes. This is from Webster Heath. Uh, a haunted toy store and a wedding. The wedding should be called... Maniac Matrimony. I like that. And the Toy Store should be called Happy Horrors. I like that idea. Are you on TikTok? I have not, but my sister is on TikTok. But I do not have an account. I'm going to stick to YouTube. There is a special to the shipping. Can you explain what the special is? Because I have not seen the special as of yet, unless it's new. Hi, Hauntformer. How are you today? I am great. How are you, Mark? I hope you're good. Are you going to get the Despacito animatronic? I actually was considering getting the Despacito animatronic. It is a little bit cheaper than the other ones, so we'll have to wait and see if it's a good pick. 
I'm going to bed. Good night, Mac. Sweet dreams, Mr. Reaper. Can you live stream every week? I wish I could. Uh, I'm going to try to live stream more because it is summer and then fall. Uh, but probably not every week because that way when I do, it's a little more fun, a little more special, and I have more to talk about. Because every week I feel like I'd kind of thin the wire on what I can do. Have you heard of spirit minis or spirit screamers? You have the little things at the front. I like those things. Will you be getting the new animatronic that Spirit teased? Uh, probably not. If you're talking about the uh, the tug of war clowns, probably not. But uh, it's going to be cool if they're if they're in stores because I did see them at the expo and they are awesome, but a little too pricey for my taste. I'm good. I got to see the new Chucky movie. Oh, good. Did you like it? I hope it was pretty freaky. It wasn't great, but it was good. Are you getting any returning animatronics, i.e. Prowler, Harvester, Hugs, Man's Possessed Friend, or uh, Cocooned? If I were to get an, uh, a returning animatronic, I would probably actually get the Towering Clown. Uh, because, I don't know, every year he's been out, I've liked him. And I've been very close on getting him, but I never actually did. So if there's nothing else that I really like this year, I might go for him. Do you watch Rick and Morty? I do not. I've, I've seen clips, but nah, I haven't gotten into it. Bruh, I wish there were a Kermit the Frog animatronic. But that's none of my business. Have you seen someone in a fursuit? I've seen very strange things. Have I seen that? I don't know. Are you still going to do a Friday the 13th game on the stream? Yes, I need to do that. Uh, I haven't figured it out how it's going to work exactly because with my my laptop, I can't. I, there's no front camera on the laptop, so I don't know if, how I'm going to position it. I'm going to have to think about how to do that, uh, but I'll try to figure something out so we can we can play. Me and my family loves Halloween and spirit since I was three. Wow. You're a dedicated uh, spirit fan. How is the animated Annabelle from Party City? She's pretty good. Uh, I got her for a really cheap price. Um, I don't remember how much, but it was it was very cheap. It was under 50 bucks. I want to say it was like 20 or 30. I got her. I, oh, it was she was 25 bucks because I got her for 75% off. Uh, she... Works great. I like that there's like no audio. It's just her head moving back and forth. I just wish her eyes weren't so bugged out and that she had like eyelids. I think if they would have fixed the eyes a little bit and added a little more detail, like making her look a little creepier on the face, it would have been a great prop. But now she's just like good. Average. How did you get the insomnia face with a bunch of eyes? It's actually a mask. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can. Can you see him right there? There he is. That's him right there. He is called the Vertigo. He is actually a mask from Trick or Treat Studios. So you can get your own if you want. You can you can su support the insomnia and, and follow along with the story. But yeah, uh, he is a mask. From Trick or Treat Studios, he's actually uh, a rejected mask from uh, American Horror Story season Cult, and they ended up not using it, so they gave the molds and the rights over to Trick or Treat Studios, who call it the Vertigo. But it's a really great mask. I got the deluxe one that comes with eyelashes and the hat, and it does cost a little bit; costs between eighty to a hundred bucks. But if you can get a good one, it's worth it. Do you think there will be an animatronic Pennywise from Spirit? You know, I could see them definitely doing it. I don't know if they will. I know we're going to get the Jemmy one probably at Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Uh, now's the best time if Spirit wants to make 
a lot of money with a penny wise, this is the year. So I guess we'll have to see. Did you know Spasm came out in 2005? Yeah, he's an old one. He's a very old prop. Uh, do you watch My Hero Acid Academia or and Stranger Things? Uh, I actually haven't. And I know a lot of people are like, what, you haven't seen Stranger Things? I haven't, but I plan on seeing it soon. I know the new season comes out in like two weeks, so I probably need to watch some of it. Do you still have the California costumes towering pumpkin? I do. He's he's away in storage, but I still have him. It's a great costume. Man, it's a great costume. Uh let's keep it. I got towering clown and he is worth the price. I agree. He he's definitely worth the price. Sorry for not watching you in a while. It's all good. But uh the furries live stream came out first. I got a notification but didn't see it. Oh, that's interesting. Uh yeah, I don't I'm not big into the, like the the furry stuff uh just because I don't know. I don't think they're scary enough. They need to be a little more menacing. They need some teeth and they need to be more creepy. <laughs> Do you like the Evil Dead or Ash versus the Evil Dead? I haven't seen either, but I I probably should. I definitely I've seen most of the original Evil Dead, but I need to finish it and watch the Evil Dead too cuz it looks like it's right up my alley. Do you still have Thrashing Clown and Dead Humor? I do. Uh they both don't work, sadly, but they make great static props because the detail's still really good. So I might be using them again this year. We'll see. Hey, I didn't realize you were streaming. I am. Aloha. If you were an animatronic, what would you do? Whatever I was programmed to do. <laughs> Animatronics don't really get a say, so. What did I miss? Eh, it is Halloween stuff. You can You can go back to the beginning once it's over. Uh, we talked about horror, we talked about Halloween, we went through the uh, layout of the haunt this year, but I'll be doing a video on that coming out soon. They should make an Annabelle rocking chair animatronic. That would be pretty creepy. I would really like that. I wish the old 2013 spirit clowns would come back. In terms of clowns, you can't beat 2013. And a lot of people, when I asked what, what what's your favorite prop from the past decade, a lot of people said Wacky Mole. And I never got Wacky Mole, but I kind of wish I did because he had a really cool look. And even if he didn't work anymore, his face and the mallet and everything alone would still be a good reason to have him. Who are my favorite haunters? Good question. Um, so in terms of like haunters that I talk to and communicate with, uh, I live really close to Jaden's videos, so we're good friends and he's definitely a great haunter. He's done a haunted house probably longer than I have. Uh, I'm trying to think of other people's, uh, HTJ does an amazing haunted house. There's really too many to name, but there was a lot of great young haunters in terms of like more professional haunters. Uh, Kevin Johnson, back when he did haunts, he did really cool ones. Hollywood Haunter does a great haunted house. So you really have a lot of different options in terms of your Halloween tastes. I don't even consider myself to be one of the best, the best haunters. I happen to have a popular YouTube channel, but my haunt's not exactly what I want it to be because I don't own the facility where I have it. It's my grandparents' garage. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, cause any stress on them when I'm working with my family. And so I kind of just have to leave it as it is every year. Of course, I, I always hear the memes like, oh, you use the blue tarp. Yeah, I do use the blue tarp. And I'm not a huge fan of it. I'd rather use wooden planks. But sometimes that takes a long time to install. And I'd rather have a permanent place to set up the haunted house. So maybe one day I'll finally get my dream. We'll see. Do they still make animatronics of the old classic Universal Monsters? Any suggestions will be appreciated. Thanks. Love your channel. Thank you, Kevin. 
I appreciate you watching. And I appreciate that you are also a fan of the Universal Monsters. I love the Universal Monsters. Oh, man. If I could suggest one, it'd be the Invisible Man. I know he's not as popular as the other guys, but he's my all-time favorite, one of my favorite movies. Uh, and the Wolfman, the old Wolfman would be cool. Really any of them. I just love the old monsters. I have a lot of monster stuff. Uh, they've only made, I think, just Frankenstein. I believe they've just made Frankenstein's monster, the Boris Karloff one. Uh, they've done other monsters, sure, but they haven't been officially licensed Universal Monster property. I would love to see them bring back more. I think a neat, easy one would be the mummy. Like, just one that kind of looks like the Boris Karloff, because it almost is like a replica. I think that'd be cool. So, I hope they do come around to making more. Uh, next year, there's actually a remake of The Invisible Man. So, maybe they'll they'll think twice and add some monster stuff. Let's keep going. I'm so late. Hi. Aloha. Welcome. I know it's very late, but that's kind of the purpose of the stream. Uh, I wish Distortions Unlimited had a store like Spirit Halloween that you can physically go to. Yeah, I kind of do too. Uh, you can go to Greeley and see their shop, and you can probably take a tour of it. I know they do that a lot. Um, yeah, Distortions, great people. I would love to see more of their stuff in stores. It kind of makes it more interesting when it's online only and you kind of have to order it online. And definitely if you're able to afford it, their stuff is worth it. From the very limited uh, stuff I have of theirs, it's worth it. I have, uh, I have three Distortions products and all of them are great. I have my Alien. I have the corpse beheaded, and then in storage, I have uh, the ancient mummy, and they're all awesome. Universe, the original Universal Monsters were epic. I agree. Mac, I think you should get a Patreon. I do have a Patreon. Uh, I don't know if it's still in the description. You can go down there, see if I'm. I still have it in the description. I might have got rid of it. Uh, no one pledged for it, which is I'm fine with because I never pledge for Patreons of my YouTube, the people I like. Nothing against it, but I don't know. I, I just feel like I'd rather give money to something else. But if you want to donate and help me out, that's always appreciated. Never feel like you have to because this is just this is a hobby for me, really. It's not my job. But I do make money. I do make quite a bit around Halloween time. And it's nice to kind of to get back some of the money that I spent on Halloween decorations. So it's good. I want to see the creature of the Black Lagoon prop. That would be epic. I doubt it will happen because he's just too detailed to justify a, an affordable prop. But it'd be cool. What was your favorite theme from Spirit? Hmm... Uh, that's tough. Clown Train was really good. Asylum was great. I loved the Area 31. I think, oh, oh, and the Zombie Baby Playground has always been one of my favorites. Uh, I, I think I used to rank it as my favorite, but I think now, if I truly had to be honest, I think probably the best theme is the Zombie Wasteland. I've always been big into radioactive. I love green. Obviously, my walls are green. My headphones, my favorite color is green, like neon green. And I love zombies, obviously. And, and Toxic Waste, to me, kind of reminds me of Aliens, too. So I love that sci-fi stuff. And obviously, that theme was all just chock full of that. Do you have any tips for making haunted houses? Hmm. Good question. I was going to make a whole tutorial on how to do haunting and stuff. Uh, go with what you have. Instead of trying to buy a bunch of stuff, you really don't need very much to make a good haunted house. Because a lot of what makes a haunted house work is suspense. Have a good soundtrack. Have a few key lights and a few key decorations. Get actors who are there to support you. 
find a, a location is probably the most important thing, having a good location. And most of all, have fun with it because ultimately it's just about having fun. And regardless of how scary or not scary it is, people just like to experience something different. And when you do a haunted house, you're giving people a good opportunity to have fun. Um, what's your favorite horror soundtrack? Obviously, Halloween 1978, John Carpenter. I There's no other soundtrack that even comes close. That might even be my favorite soundtrack of all time. Because it's not my favorite horror movie, Halloween. It is my third favorite. Uh, but there is no other movie where the soundtrack is basically synonymous with the movie like Halloween. I guess the only other example would maybe be Jaws with dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. But I wouldn't even consider that fully because that dun 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 only comes in in certain scenes. But like every scene in Halloween has that certain time signature and the noise. Like you can't get away from it. The whole movie revolves around that. So Halloween is, is ultimately the best soundtrack. What was the first year you went to Spirit Halloween? I can't even remember. <laughs> it's been so long, I can't remember. I would, if I really was honest, I'd have to guess 2006 or 2007. Uh, the first year I can actually remember is probably 2007 or 8, because I remember getting the Death Crawler animatronic. So if you can figure out whatever year Death Crawler came out, that year is the first year I vividly remember. But I think I went before that too. Uh, but I've gone to spirit for as long as I can remember. And, uh, it's been like an event knowing when it's coming around every year. Have a good night too, Michael. Take it easy. They should make SCP animatronics. I agree. And what's your favorite SCP monster? I haven't done a lot of research in the SCP department. I used to, but I don't much anymore. Probably, I know this sounds generic, but SCP-173, the statue, just because the concept's really scary to me, like, if you blink, it'll come at you. Like, you have to constantly be staring at it. That's cool. I like that. They should make a prop of that one. Uh, have you played Dead by Daylight? No, I haven't, but I would, I would like to get it. What's your least favorite horror movie? That's tough. I'm going to say, I don't, this isn't really a specific movie, but any movie that relies either too much on jump scares or more so too much on gore. I don't like gore, and I hate when movies exploit it so much. That's why I used to never want to watch Saw. And just spoiler alert, Saw is a great movie. It's one of my favorite horror movies. But... It doesn't rely heavily on its gore. I mean, the sequels do. That's why I don't like those ones. But the original is more of a thriller and a suspense film and a mystery. Whereas the later ones are just kind of gore and torture, which I hate. So anything like that, like Human Centipede and all that trash, I don't, I don't know. I haven't even seen it, and I can just say I wouldn't watch it. Haunt, please read this. I saw a video on Spirit's theme. It had pictures. Um, well, that's very interesting. If you want to send me the link, I can check it out for you. But typically that stuff's faked. But if I mean, if you gen genuine, can't even speak. If you genuinely saw it, genuinely, genuinely, <laughs> if you actually, if you actually saw it, you can send me a link. What state are you in? What state of mine? Crazy. What state in the USA? Florida. Hollow John Carpenter Halloween soundtrack was a character in its own right, more so than the villain. You're right. Halloween works because of its atmosphere, more so than like anything else. Like, you could have Michael Myers in a movie, but without the atmosphere, it doesn't 
make him completely the shape because there's been 11 movies at this point with Michael Myers in it, but the original is the only one that really impacted people. What's your favorite kill in the new Chucky? Um, probably, probably the one where the guy gets run over by that thing. And I just, it was, it's just like a, it's a good line that Chucky says, which kind of makes it for me. This is for Tupac. <laughs> like, it's just so stupid, but I, I like that stuff. Favorite candy around Halloween. Mine is always Skittles. I'm not big in the Skittles. They're a little too sweet. Reese's by far. Reese's and Kit Kats. What prop do you want to return for 2019? Uh, the two licensed props, actually. Michael Myers and uh, the Ro Bump and Go Chucky. I think they should come back. Uh, and if Spirit does any licensed characters this year, they should make another licensed theme. Like a horrorplex. Let's keep going. Do you watch Dead Meat? I do watch Dead Meat. I'm a big fan of uh, James A. Janice and the kill counts and all that stuff. I think he's, a, he's probably the most popular horror YouTuber. And it's cool that he's kind of like a mainstream YouTuber at this point. He was even on like the YouTube React or whatever. So it's cool that there's like a main YouTube star who's also a horror movie guy. It's cool. And he knows a lot about horror. I might be getting an older animatronic alien from Distortions. I found it locally for 300 and they go for like 5k. Should I get it? Yes. <laughs> of course I'm going to say that because I, I love aliens. Uh, depending on what it is, send me, send me, if you get it, send me a photo because maybe I'll buy it off you. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, license prop, are you hoping that will come out with? Hmm. This is this is a far fetched one. I I mean I've always wanted a a Shining prop because it's my favorite horror movie. But they're not there's they can't do a Jack Nicholson prop. It would look too weird. I mean they could do the twins or Grady or something or the bear guy. It's the Shining doesn't work for that stuff. It's not a boo scary a movie. Uh, but if I had to pick a character, I'm going to go with Krampus. I think they should make a giant Krampus animatronic. Uh, they could have even done it like the, uh, the, um, the rotten ringmaster, how he's like holding a cage, but instead it should have been on Krampus's back with like a little girl in the cage and Krampus like moving around. I, even if he was super expensive, I might even have to get him because I love Krampus. Do you like memes? I love memes. I'm a memer. I'm a haunter, but I'm a memer too. If you know me like personally, I love memes. Uh, what's your favorite meme? I, I like I like the dank memes. I like the dankest of memes. I like memes that don't make any sense. Uh like E or like uh microwave be like mm -hmm. Anything stupid like that. Howard the Alien. Anything dumb. I love... To me, if I'm going to consume a product or watch a movie or a video, I either want it to be good or I want it to be dumb. Because at least if it's dumb, then it's good in a dumb way. If it's mediocre, then it's just kind of pathetic. Do you like Report of the Week? He actually lives in Florida, uh, believe it or not. And it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he goes to USF. If he goes to USF, if I if I uh, if I get because uh, I send in an application, I might actually be going to USF. So maybe we can do an awesome Halloween food review together. Doubtful, but maybe I'll meet review bra. Yeah. Shaggy.
Do you like memes? If you like memes, watch Spirit Halloween Cursed Images. All right, I might have to look it up. I have to go to sleep. Good night, Mac. Have a good night, Mark. Have you seen the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Many times. If you have, what do you think? I love Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's one of my favorite B movies, like the ones that are purposely bad. My favorite horror B movie is The Stuff. If you've never seen The Stuff, I actually have a tube of The Stuff over there. The Stuff's about killer ice cream or yogurt that people eat, and then it eats their insides, and it comes out of their mouth, and they spray it on the walls. It's really goofy, but it's actually a, it's actually a pretty, pretty decent movie with a good story and an interesting, likable character cast. Um, I'm going to probably do a review of it later this year. I'm considering, uh, so I'm, I'm planning on later this year, especially around October when I need a lot of videos, especially in Haunttober where I try to do like videos every day, I'm going to, going to do a lot of movie reviews, at least one a week. So at least four in the month of October to account for some views. So I need to pick some good horror movies to talk about. So killer clowns might be one of them. Can you do a meet and greet in Malden, Massachusetts sometimes? Uh, if I'm ever in Massachusetts I, and I post about it, uh, hook me up. I, I'm, not, I'm not a meet and greet person, not because I don't want to be, but just because it's not feasible yet. I'm not a huge YouTube person, so I don't have enough, uh, like a big enough fan base to justify going around and stuff. But I appreciate that you asked. Here's a fist bump. Did you actually do it? Good mark now. What about a thanks killing turkey prop? If they did a thanks killing turkey prop, I would buy every one. <laughs> I haven't even seen it, but it's so dumb. You know, they could also do a Jack Frost prop, the snowman. Am I, are you getting an ASMR of me eating? Sorry if that sounds funny. Have you seen Chilling Sub Adventures of Sabrina? Mm-mm. I haven't. Are you in the creepy pasta? Yes, I love creepy pasta and creepy spaghetti. Just kidding. I I do actually love creepy pastas. I read a lot of them. Or list. I I listen to the narrations. I'm not a big reader. Uh, do a meet and greet in Los Angeles. That would be amazing. I'd be so happy. Maybe one day. Do you watch Dan Bell Dead Mall series? Yes, I do. I love Dan Bell. I love also the ones... I love his Dead Mall stuff. I also love where he goes to the, like, gross motels. He actually stayed at a motel, like, 25 minutes up the street from my house. And I kind of want to go buy it. Uh, what do you think of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Never seen it. I started watching it, and I, I didn't get to finish it. But I'm going to see it. I swear I'm going to see it. Don't be mad. What if they made a good Slenderman prop? I'd be on board. I love Slenderman. Do a meet and greet in Las Vegas. Maybe. Maybe I'll just take a big meet and greet tour. Do you have any siblings? I do. I have a sister. She's right in the other room. She's younger than me. She's 17. She's 17. I'm 20. I remember this stuff. It was a satire of consumerism and marketing, very reflective of the 70s and 80s. That's exactly what it was. And uh, I've always loved it for the like the way it kind of com commentates on like that era, but it, it, it like has a good charm to it and it doesn't take itself very seriously, so that's why I've always enjoyed it. Have you seen the Child's Play remake? I have. And I really liked the 1988 
soundtrack and the 2019 soundtrack. I think the, the 2019 soundtrack fits what it's going for with like the child instruments and stuff. Of course, there's always a soft spot for the original theme because it's the classic one, but this one was excellent. Which slasher movie is your favorite? I need to watch more classics. Which, oh, which classic slasher movie is your favorite? I need to watch more. Uh, my favorite slasher films are Halloween, Psycho, and Scream. But a good, a good one, if you haven't seen it, and a lot of people haven't, but they're remaking it this year, but I guarantee the remake's not going to be as good, Black Christmas. It is super scary. It actually freaks me out. So Black Christmas is my ultimate recommendation, but Halloween's the best. Actually, Halloween was based off of Black Christmas, so to see one without the other is kind of an injustice. Have a good night, Alex. Take it easy. Can you give my channel a shout out at Aiden Romano? There you are, Mr. Aiden. That's your shout out. <laughs> Sorry. How are you so enthusiastic all the time? I don't know. It's like 1.30 in the morning here. Um, I'm very thankful. I try to always be joyful. Also, I've god jesus in my life so he's he's always there to lift me up uh yeah and I, I you have to have a passion for what you do and i've been passionate about halloween since i was a kid so to be considered like a popular halloween youtube person is a real honor so i'm thankful for it did you see and like the 2017 it movie I did. I saw it and I really liked it. Uh, it wasn't like the bet. Like people are considering it like the Holy grail of horror movies of this decade. It's not, but it's, it's very good. It's very well made. I'm excited to see the new one. I've never been a huge fan of it, but it's definitely a great movie. Uh, uh, by the way, I love that your name is Don't Scare Me, I'm Hugged. That's nice. When are they coming out with the new Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? I'm so s upset that it didn't come out on the 19th. Are you excited about Banana, Sm Banana Splits? Uh, I don't know what that is. People keep telling me to look it up. Is it like a horror movie? I know it has something to do with bananas. Or maybe it doesn't. What if they made a Happy Death Day prop? That'd be pretty easy. You could probably even make that with the mannequin they sell. That'd be cool, though. How big is your house? Well, I'm on the second story, so I'm in a two-story house. It's pretty good-sized. The joy of the Lord. Amen. That's it. My internet hates me. I'm sorry. Mine does, too, a lot. Uh, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? Well, I love where I live in Florida. It's my home. Uh, so here. But... If you're counting like somewhere exotic, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit more north of me, like North Carolina. I love the weather and the landscapes there. Florida is very flat in terms of our terrain and our weather is very humid. I think up there it's more mountainy and more like lug, lug, luxurious in the, in the winter months. Wakey, wakey. I think the most recent Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared was the last one. Yes, but then they made the wakey, wakey thing. So I'm waiting to see when the new series comes out with Coco, Conan O'Brien's production company. Haunt Former's name is Mac. That is my name. Here's a fun fact. It's not. Well, yes, it is. But my true legal name is Mark. Uh... If I had my wallet on me, I'd prove it to you. But, well, anyways, my legal name is actually Mark Ralston. But because my dad and I are both named Mark, we wanted to mix it up. So we dropped the R. So my name's Mac. 
And that's what I've gone by forever. So if you say, hey, Mark, I won't pay any attention to you because I never go by Mark. But my real name is Mark, but I'm Mac. I just got back from South Carolina. Nice. Ohio. Cool. What's your favorite movie that's not a Halloween movie? Uh, probably Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. I've always loved that movie. It makes me cry, too. It's one of the few movies that actually really gets me, like, emotionally. Great movie. Really well done. It has a good life lesson in it. And it's funny. Yeah. Probably Groundhog Day. In my opinion, the remake Child's Play is better than the original. I can definitely see that opinion. Uh, I think I think in terms of being scarier, it might be. But the Child's Play series has always had a lot of camp to it. And I think that's why it, it holds a little bit stronger place for me. This should make a jumping Chucky. Chucky, that'd be kind of cool. Do you participate in the Haunt and Swamp swap groups on Facebook? I'm in a lot of them, but I've never really, like, traded anything. Any prop builds soon? Uh, yeah, I, I need to work on a prop build soon. I, I was going to start one. Like, I have the materials for it, and then I just never got around to it. So, probably within the next month. I have to go to bed. Good night. Have a great night. Keep it spooky. Okay, so last thing I wanted to do before we call it quits is you can still send in your comments or questions, but I'm going to pop in Nightmare on Elm Street because I want to see if I can screen record it and talk over the movie like in kind of a uh, commentary sort of way. And I want to see if this actually works. A bunch of people don't like the new Chucky. To me, it makes him look scarier. I actually agree. Uh, I think his look was really good in this movie. All right. It went in. I'm going to eat one more marshmallow. You're my favorite YouTuber. Aw. I appreciate that. There's a lot of good YouTubers, but uh, that's really nice to hear. Okay. No more marshmallows for me. I don't want to turn into Stay Puft. I have never seen Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, you'll get to see a little of it tonight. I'm not going to play all of it, though. I'm really sad. I spent eight hours on a prop build for my channel, and I got 60 views. Kind of depressing. That's horrible. I hope you get I hope you get more views because wait crazy halloween guy S some of those haunt some of those haunt oh wait you do the uh did you do a oh you used the fright props yeah I hope you'll get more views Hey, HTJ is here. Sorry, can you guys still hear me? The movie popped up, so I'm seeing if you guys can all still hear me. Am I still visible or whatnot? Well, thank you for joining HTJ Halloween, the big man himself. Hey, if you're watching this, Hunter, uh, big congrats on 100 Hey, <laughs> does that stand for, I mean, not 100, 100K, 100,000 K. Does that mean 100,000 kills or 1,000 subscribers? Hopefully it's subscribers and not the, the, the former because if you have 100,000 kills, I think that's a little bit more than John Wick or Michael or Freddy. So uh, congrats. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, which I assume most of you are, seeing that HTJ has like three times as many subscribers as I do. But if you haven't, check out uh, Hunter HTJ Halloween. He does great videos. He does awesome like prop, like assembly videos and tutorials and how-tos. And his haunted house is probably, probably the best one in terms of uh, YouTube haunters as far as they're concerned. 
So please give him uh, a check out and congrats on 100,000 kills. I mean, subscribers. You know what I mean. What's your favorite part of Child's Play 2019? Uh, it's probably got to be the fact of Chucky starting innocent and becoming evil. And I like they differentiated from the original where he's not possessed and he's actually like, uh, he's actually like a, a, a nice doll. He actually is a good guy in the beginning. HGJ does the best haunt for his age. He does. I think what what Hunter does really well is the is the walls. Getting the walls and the sets down. Something I wish I always could do. The issue for me is because I have to set mine up and take it down so fast, I don't really get a lot of time to to prep those walls and stuff. I maybe could do a few and I might try that this year. But it's difficult when you have to do it so quickly. That's why I resort to the tarps, which is a cop-out way, and I don't really like it. But it's better than having no haunt at all. So hopefully in the future I'm able to do what I really want and actually put time into it like, like uh, Hunter is able to. Um, what's your favorite of the Nightmare on Elm Street films? I've only seen one, two, a little bit of three and uh, New Nightmare, and I think the original is probably the best. I'm not the biggest fan, actually. I know a lot of people are like, ah, Freddy. Not the biggest fan of Nightmare on Elm Street, but uh, the first one's probably the best. I also really like New Nightmare because it's unique, and I think it kind of paved the way for Scream. You saw that coming because Wes Craven kind of did the whole self-referential humor in that, so it's kind of smart. Uh couldn't you just do it a few days earlier? Um, yeah, I, I, I maybe could, but, but uh, even with a few more days, it wouldn't give me enough time to do what I would like. I, I, my end goal in haunting is to have a location that I can constantly work on and update throughout the year to make it the best that it can be. If I ever have a garage. There are never going to be any cars in that thing because I'm going to make it into a legit haunt. Though my future wife would probably uh, not like that idea. Oh, well. Are you and Jaden's videos best pals? We do We do get together quite a bit. Uh, we do a lot of Jaden's horror movies, if you know his horror movie stuff. And hopefully we're going to do some more store walkthroughs together this year because we did some a few years back and those were fun. You, HTJ, Jaden's videos, Joe Bean, and Cameron should do a meetup. It would be like the Avengers Endgame of like Haunters. And throw in David's TV, why not? They're pretty popular. Although they're not, they're not like exclusively Haunters. They also do other stuff too. But around Halloween, they, they do dive in. It takes too much time, but it's worth it. I agree, Hunter. It, it like the thing is, details make things scarier. So if you can add as much detail as you can to something, it's going to turn out better. That's why when you go to like uh, Halloween Horror Nights or any of those like professional things, there's like little cobwebs and rusty nails on stuff that's like all glued down. It's to add the impression of realism, which makes things scarier. Okay, so let me try to turn on the movie, see if it actually works, uh, or if not, oh well, like I said, oh well, we're going to do the best we can. So if you are just joining and are curious about what I'm trying to do, I am trying to see if on a future live stream I can play a movie and commentate on that movie. I'm not going to do it fully tonight, but I'm just going to test it out. But my hope is in like a future live stream, I can actually, uh, I can actually, we can just sit down and watch an entire movie for like an hour and a half and I can just talk about it and we can joke about it or whatever. Perhaps I'll do some really stupid horror movies so we have a good thing to roast. Uh, maybe I'll buy one of those ones. If you saw my story on Instagram, I should buy one of those ones from Walmart 
like the cleaning lady. <laughs> that would be funny. I'm having I'm trying to have crazy detail this year. That's the most important thing. That's why I hate the tarps because there's no detail on a stupid tarp, but it's fast. I've already spent 4k this year. Whoa. I bought our local haunted house after it went out of business. Yeah, that would be cool. I hope that that all works out, especially considering how much you've spent. Uh, they will flag you for that. They banned Dr. Wolfula for streaming for some obscure films. Uh, well, I hope I don't end up like that because that would be bad. Uh, so, like I said, I'm going to try it out tonight. Hopefully this stream doesn't completely go down. If it does, you know why. But I want to test it and see if it works. So uh, we're going to try it out. Maybe I'll just I'll put it in like a minimal screen or something so that way I don't fully get copyrighted. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate because it's, it is fair use. And, uh, by the way, if you were the one who mentioned Dr. Wolfula before, I actually just subscribed to him now. He's a really great YouTuber. You should check him out if you haven't. He does horror movie commentaries and reviews. Really funny stuff. So, yeah. I'm literally going to buy every prop this year for maximum content. Smart. Well, considering how many subscribers you have, like I'm not going to dive into like your personal financial stuff, but I'd have to imagine you make a pretty penny off of a lot of your videos. Uh, so I could only imagine you have a you could like set money aside to to pay for a lot of that stuff. Plus, I mean, considering you have so many fans, you should maybe reach out to Spirit. It might they might uh, send you like a like a prize pack or something. A lot of companies do that. Okay, so let's see if I can stream this movie and get flagged like Dr. Wolfula. Yay! Dr. Wolfula reviews here. Yeah. Okay, let me go minimize that. Okay, this is the movie. What? Right now. Peace. Peace. Will it not let you play it? What the heck? What the heck? Yeah, it's an investment. Um, and oh, poop. Uh, let's go to the menu. Why can't I not see it? It's so dumb. Hang on. Why is this not working? Will it not let me show it? Okay, so wait. Let me try this out. So let me go back to uh, Google Hangouts. Where is Google Hangouts? Oh no. Sorry. I didn't plan for this very well. No, now I'm opening up Safari. Stop, please. Sorry, I'm doing, I'm doing my stupid voice. That's true. Try streaming a public domain movie. You're right. All right, well, if this doesn't work, okay, this is not going to work. I'm just going to eject this. That was kind of a dud. But I can probably find some old horror movies on, on YouTube. You know what? I'm not even going to worry. Well, oh, I could have ejected that. Let's eject. All right, here it comes. Everything's going wrong. Oh, snap. Everything's going wrong. This must be Nightmare 2. You ever seen Nightmare 2? You know that joke. Okay. So. Um, let's try YouTube for a sec. While we're here. By the way, here's a shameless plug for my video I made earlier on the Tug of War Clowns. Uh, just so I can show you, because HGJ is here. I'm going to show you his channel. By the way, he's got a cool, like, 
logo and stuff. He goes he goes for more of the Jack O' Lantern classic approach. See, he's got his his uh, thing, the uh, the play button. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name of it. Once I get a play button, will be the day that I can rest in peace. Well, I don't want to die, but yeah, it'd be nice. Okay, so oh, he just I didn't see this yet. Okay, he does the uh, setup of the Night Fright animatronic from distortions and he also does the uh, spirit sneak peeks so there's a lot of cool stuff he also has merch i also have merch so you should totally buy some support support me with my swag wait why am i looking up halloween let's look up haunt former this is very meta <laughs> this is so meta i'm looking at my own stuff Let's go to my child's play review. Give it. It's not great. Uh, okay. Well, anyways, you can see all my merchandise. I have some cool shirts, pillows. And if you get any of this merch, please send me a photo of it via whatever you can. Via, I don't know, YouTube. You could send me it on a DM on Instagram or Facebook, Messenger or whatever. Or email me if you don't have any of that. Because I will definitely want to share it if you get any merch. Or if you do a fan art or whatever. I want to I wanna support you. So, yeah. Yes, I am plugging. <laughs> Buy my stuff. I, I but Just so you know, by the way, I, I get very little of the price. Just in case you're thinking, oh, man, he's, getting, he's making bank 13 bucks on his shirt. Yeah, I get, like, no money from this. <laughs> I try to make these as as cheap as possible. It's really just so that people can get merch if they want it. Uh, it's not excellent. So I'm trying to work on the set too, because I got like the DVDs of horror movies. I got my Funko Pops. I, I'm trying to fix back here a little bit and add some color. And Anyways, let's find a Let's find a, uh, what's a good old horror movie that I won't get monetized for? Can we watch Bride of Frankenstein? 1935, full movie. Mm-hmm. I guess this is it. Uh, but it's going to have that weird, like, where it's, like, zoomed in too much. Yeah, it's going to be all zoomed in. Let's see. Free horror movies. Yeah, I don't even trust these ones, honestly. The Prodigy. Too many movies. Oh, that's cool. What the heck is that? It's kind of cool. Oh, hello, Cameron. Welcome aboard. Man, there's a lot of... Good morning. <laughs> yeah, it is morning. Good morning, everyone. Man, this stream's been kind of long. Oh, well, we're having fun. Can't can't deny that. Uh, let's go... Let's look up... Uh, what's... Full horror film... Why are they always like the worst ones? Dolls. Okay, let's watch this Banana Splits trailer that everyone keeps telling me about. Banana, what? Banana Split trailer. All right, I got to undo my head. You guys can hear the trailer. We'll turn the volume up. Okay, it's on sci-fi. That's already a telltale sign something oh it's sci-fi wire all right rated r for horror violence and gore we are going to the banana splits <gasps> Ooh. Sometimes at night, this is interesting. I see the splits riding around in the little cars, laughing and singing. Who's excited to see the banana splits? Yeah! Rock, 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 
Is this like Five Nights at Freddy's? I can't the show. What? It is right, five. Kids, put on your ha happiest faces because the Banana Split Show is about to begin. Where are the children? Well, get out of here. So Time's almost up. What? Oh, it's not completely Five Nights at Freddy's. They're mascots. They're not. Sounds like Goofy. What? Come on, you fuzzy son of a... I just really want your brother's birthday to be perfect. Look what I'm doing. Wow. Did you Wow. Wow, I like that. That actually looks pretty good. All right, you guys know it. Banana splits. All right, that's one. That's one I'll definitely have to check out. Uh, so it looks kind of like a. Uh... Oh, thanks. Thanks for stopping in and saying hello. By the way, hope you have a good night. Yeah, it is pretty early. <laughs> that's funny. Banana Smith. Banana Splits movie exists. Five Nights at Freddy's. Am I a joke to you? I'm gonna like that one. Uh, uh, what what comment should I leave? I'll leave a comment. Why not? Uh, I gotta think of something clever. I got nothing. It's too early. Was Banana Splits a real show? I'm gonna say so. Where's the banana? I spelled banana wrong. Because there was no banana. Bandana? <laughs> Where's the bandana? Banana. Did I keep... I can't spell for anything. All right, that, I'm going to leave it like that. Well, I, I could have just looked right here. I'm dumb. All right, if... If you guys want to support me, find this comment and give it a like so I can be the top comment. No, this guy deserves to be the top comment. Whatever. All right. People are saying to look up Spirit Halloween Cursed Images. Cursed Images. I don't want to be cursed. What? <laughs> okay, so okay, so what's the thing about this book? I keep seeing stuff about this book. I want to read the book. Am I in it? I better be in the book. Come on, can we get a petition going? Haunt former should be in the Spirit Halloween book. I can't believe. Why is Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Why is Chuck E. Cheese in the spirit book? What what is that supposed I'm just gonna keep going. Please monitor all children in the Fortnite section. Any item broken, tampered with. <laughs> That's funny. Gotta watch kids in the Fortnite section, you know. I love those vampire teeth. What? Is that a new... That's a leaked animatronic. Aw. Spasm. Ooh. <laughs> Hot. That's cool. Whoa. What? <laughs> Wait, what? 12, $13,000? That's hilarious. Well, at least the shipping's only 30 bucks. Who would pay $13,000 for that? It's a plastic head that lights up and talks in a box. That's hilarious.
Let's look up more. Uh, is Haunter Fails a thing? Haunter Fails? I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah, we got Spirit Halloween Prop Fails. <laughs> We got David's TV. Oh, oh and it, <laughs> it's falling off. Head, I swear. Hey. And we got hey. Jordan. Jesus <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> and here it goes. <laughs> That was that wasn't even expected. Yep. Yeah, those things are never secure enough. <laughs> it's just stupid. Penny did that every time without fail for me. Oh, the, uh, the slime mo is pretty nice. It's like Dora. It looks like Dora. <laughs> she does look like Dora. Oh, she, <laughs> just, she just fell over. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jet. Tell everybody what Jet, we got baby. today. A singing A what? Oh, he said sitting scarecrow. I thought he said a singing werewolf. I mean, hey, that could be a prop. All right, are there any other ones? I don't see any. I could look up Halloween prop fails. Halloween prop fails, maybe? Well, I'm glad you're having fun. Okay, here's part two. Wow, is this an old Jordan video? I don't like their face cover. Here it goes. <laughs> Holy! Oh, and they got the little. <laughs> oh, wow, he went. It's not easy to make go, it's very hard to make go. <laughs> okay, something. And it stopped. Coat rack monster. My coat rack broke. Kind of sad about that. Uh, uh, Benny Hill. Is this Cameron? Oh yeah, that's, oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Oh uh, you know it's all fun and games until the clicks. Clicking. He was kind of a cool prop. Well, was. <laughs> that was so pathetic. So funny. Didn't even make a noise. Oh, man. There's the yard. Oh. Is that a new animated Luigi prop? That was a good one. All right, there's one more, I think. Yep, this is the subscriber special. Subscribe to Nathan Lauser. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> bang bang. What a weird prop. Bang bang is such a weird. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> nice. That was good. That was good. The we the we music definitely adds to the the ambiance. Hello, Cinema of the Dead, Lone Wolf, Haunter's Corner, Haunter and Jimmy Nation, ha Jumps Man, 360, Cameron, Waffle Fry, Swag Spirit. Lots of peoples. Lots of peoples here. Well, welcome aboard. Yeah, the sitting scarecrow took some abuse, got punched in the face. It's pretty funny. Any other funny videos I need to look up or any videos that I should look up? Because uh, then I'll switch back to me and I'll probably end the stream soon because it's almost 2 a.m. It's kind of early, don't you think? I mean, we're still having fun, so it hasn't quite ended yet. I should look up my old... Let's look up my old video. Let's look up Haunt Former. Let's go way back. Let's go way back. Like the Wayback Machine. Hey, we could go on the Wayback Machine. You guys want to go on the Wayback Machine? Let's go on the Wayback Machine. But first, I'll do this. Just take a... Wait, can I sort it by oldest? You can now go on the Wayback Machine. You guys want to go on the Wayback Machine? <laughs> Let's go on the Wayback Machine. That was really meta. Okay. Date added oldest. So Let's let's go back where it all began. Michael's Halloween 2013. Take a trip down memory lane. Hey, look up. Haunt Former's live now. Wow. Very classic. Uh, I can't remember what's the first video that I actually spoke in. Was it this one? Nope. Let's keep going. I think I think the first video. Was it Thrashing Clown? No, it couldn't have been that one because there was a haunt build before that. Uh, I think it's this. This is the first video I ever spoke in from August 15th, back when I used to record the audio for my videos on my iPod via my computer that was like an old Dell. Thank you, Kevin. Hello, everyone. Haunt Former here. Wow. And this is the series of... If my voice wasn't high-pitched enough. The Creepy Carnival. This is part one of my haunt build. Wow. This is the baseline of the haunt. Mm. Uh, my grandma's garage. Uh, we just... We don't have anything up yet. No black plastic or anything. But no when we do, plastic. it's going to look great. I'm going to do a brief walkthrough. There's going to be a sign here that says Creepy Carnival from Spirit. Uh, we're going to walk this way. Down here, we're gonna have babies and stuff and lights and. We're gonna have people. babies. And down here, we're gonna quote have, Mac. We're gonna have babies. More babies along this, <laughs> and then we're gonna have black plastic this coming babies. down from that plank. Then we're gonna have a hole so an actor can jump out and scare you in a clown suit. Then we're gonna have the thrashing clown probably there from Spirit if I get it. Then this way we're gonna have aliens and more clowns and collector. body parts, and then there's gonna be a bloody. Wow, creepy. if my voice did not sound high-pitched enough. Then I went for a little bit, and I never showed my face. And I believe the first video I showed my face in was my, like, one-year anniversary. Or, no, 100th subscriber special. To think. 20, 24, July 2nd, 2014. So exactly, almost exactly five years ago, I had... a. 100 subscribers. Now I have... 
I, I don't even see where it says how many. I have like 31,000. That's that's a blessing. Classic haunt former intro. Classic Ghostbusters music. Hello, everybody. Oh, the haunt, haunt prop video. shed. Back again Might be you. getting a new one, actually. Just say thank you. In case you for missed it. 100 subscribers today. 100 subscribers um, today. I know it's not as big as We're some gonna have babies. Uh, people who have millions. Yeah. But I wasn't even after 100. I just wanted to make Halloween videos because that's what I felt I wanted to do. That's still true. I still do not care about how many people. Subscribe. I just like making videos. I never have cared about the YouTube side of things as much. Now, I, of course, I have a little bit more. Uh, oh, yeah, the old witch prop is better routine. The haunted house sound effects. Those are always popular. Sneak peek. Oh, remember the good old sneak peeks where they're like 11 seconds long? It's just literally a photo. Good, good times, you know. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, the zombie baby seesaw. Classic. Yeah, I mean... YouTube has been a really fun thing. Man, I've been making a making a lot of videos for a long time. The haunters of YouTube. Oh, remember when I did this? All the shout outs of all, all the haunters. Oh, and my old Hunt Jesus Warmer, Reese's shirt. Back again. Um if you saw the title of this video, then you know what to expect. It was the best of Before times, it was the worst though, of times. Uh, Have a great night, Deborah. Stay spooky as always. Uh, okay, so I promised we're going to go to the Wayback Machine. If you've never used the Wayback Machine, you're in for a, quite a treat. So what the Wayback Machine does is... Here, let me plug in my mic because we're not listening. We're not... I can actually hear audio perhaps a little bit closer to my mouth. So... Wayback Machine is an internet archive, and what it does is it saves old web web pages, so you can see web pages from a long time ago. You can get a lot of nostalgia, but we're going to do a good nostalgia trip, and we're going to go to spirithalloween.com. You're, you're about to see what I mean by nostalgia, because we're going to go back to 20... 13. In my opinion, the best year of Spirit Halloween. And we're going to go into October. We're going to go to October 6th. 6th? Yeah, October 6th. Here we go. So exciting. Can you believe it? Yay! Woo! Look, you can already see. Yep. That vintage. I, I actually remember this, the little baby. I'm not even kidding. I remember this, 23 days until Halloween. So these are snapshots. You can actually browse the website. What stinks is you can't buy anything. So let's go to the decorations. If only you could order stuff and it like ships from the past. That that Wouldn't that be a cool movie idea? It'd be a cool movie. Like you could buy something like bring something from the past into the future yeah very very nostalgic uh so look you got zombie swing girl demonica you got death row bloody bag of jokes man look at all this if only you could you know, jump back in the t jump back in time but you know what never regret where you're at in time Frankenstein, man. So, like, look, Frankenstein was the big, biggest priced item. 300 bucks for a huge license prop. Now we get $500 clowns.
but they're cool too. Michael Myers, ooh, Michael Myers. Of course, The Exorcist, Reagan, Convulsing Nurse. Good times. Good times. Uh, so we can go further back, actually. Uh, so if I actually, I'm going to get rid of all of that. We're going to go just back to spirithalloween.com. You can do this for yourself. You can, you can do this all day long if you want. It's really up to you. We're going to go back to spirit. So here it is today. Of course, you got Rotten Ringmaster and you have uh, Chucky. Hey, but you know what? Savor it now because in a few years, you're going to look back and remember Rotten Ringmaster when he was a thing. Okay, so we're going to go to... Where, what, what year should we go? Let's go, let's go uh, 2008. First year I really vividly can remember. We're going to go to October 2nd. Here we go. This is going to be real interesting. Whoa, do you remember this? Because I can remember this too. A little bit. It's it's not not as crystal clear. Look at that. You got the six foot Jason. Well, he was on sale at this time. Oh, wow. Imagine if you could get him for that cheap today. <laughs> what a discount. Uh yeah, you got, you know, Donna the Dead, Store Locator. That just that's uh let's go to animatronics. Hex, oh man, classic Hex. You got a chin-up zombie. You got Spasm, Hannibal Lecter. Whoa, oh, man. Imagine if you could get Hannibal Lecter for $1.99. If anyone offered me $1.99 for that, I'd take it in a heartbeat. Because that thing's worth so much money now. That's like an investment in gold. <laughs> oh, the mad scientist. Got the spirit balls, voices from the grave. Oh, so so look, they they had their fair share of expensive online exclusives. Just because it's 2019, things seldom change. See? Alright, let's go let's go back to the way back machine. We're gonna go to spirit again. We're going to go way back. I, it, it doesn't even show any records before 1999. So we're going to go to 1999. And the only one it shows is May 6th. Let's see what Spirit looked like in 1999. Probably before most of you were born. One year after I was born. But I was an infant. I was a wee little lad. I was the little Mac. Not, not the big Mac. Have a good night, Cameron. See you bassoon. All right, it's not even loading. So it's look, it's a it's a one eight hundred costume phone number place. It's not even a store. It's like it was like a one little location. Isn't that kind of? It's so quaint compared to Spirit today. Isn't that funny? All right, let's go to 2000. We're going to go through time. Let's go to the 27th of October, 2000. Oh, wow. It's loading. What? That's not right. It took us to Avengers Endgame. I don't think they had Avengers Endgame and Jack Skellington. In 2000. I'm just going to take a wild guess. All right, let's go into 2000. 27th of October. Yeah, it's not even... It's so far back. It's, like, not even working. All right, let's go a little bit forward. I think we need to at least go to, like, 2004. Let's go to October. Let's go on my birthday, 2004. Oh, you know what? 
this looks familiar too. But there's no way I could remember that. It might just be a fake memory. Oh well. Over 20 years of exclusive Halloween experience. This is probably when they were just sort of starting out. Uh, but they're not quite at what they were. I mean, what they are today. So let's let's jump to 2005, October. Let's go to Halloween on October 2005. I want to see when Spirit actually shifted into who they are now. We're learning so much history, kids. There we go. There it is. This is this 2005 is where it started to take shape. Because this is where they had an animated decor section, the costume sections. They didn't really have too much in terms of animated decorations. They had the red wood, de I mean, dead wood rubber hanging head. Remember that old spirit exclusive banner? Oh, it's currently unavailable. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. See, isn't it neat to go back in time? Don't you feel like a time traveler now? You feel like you're in your DeLorean? Let's go to 2007. Let's go to October 11th. There you have the old catalog. But you know what we're all about. Let's get to, let's let's get to the what what matters most is the animatronics. Look look at all the inflatables. They had a lot of inflatables for their day. Six foot Jason, you can see there. Fortune teller Zoltan, the floating witch. It's very very cool. Let's let's get a little something a little bit more in our, our lifetimes anyway, or at least in your lifetime. Let's go to let's go to twenty twenty fourteen. I think that's when most of us were were at Spirit, at least where most of you were. Yeah, the classic catalogs would be nice to have a little record of. Actually, Andrew's videos helped me out with getting the classic catalogs of the Lemax stuff for Michaels. So I have I have records of it all the way from like 2011 or something. All right, here it is. This is pretty nostalgic. <laughs> getting a, getting nostalgic for five years ago. Hey, it counts. Don't judge me. If it'll load. Okay, so let's go to animatronics. Have a spooky night, Haunter's Corner. You're not going to miss too much because I'm almost done. So we're going to have the final few, the silent and deadly. So this is getting a little more close to the modern website but there's still those key little differences oh you got pumpkin nester peekaboo penny evil scientist wicked witch of the west The Talking Cherubs, Jumping Bug, Rising Reagan, Nosferatu, man, 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 oh man. All right, I'm going to go back to, I'm probably going to get wrapping it up. Let me get back to the crux of the matter. Well, took a good old trip right down memory lane. Saw the old spirit stuff. We watched Banana Splits, which was kind of weird, but I kind of like it. And I don't remember ever watching anything called Banana Splits before. Uh, we, we've done some cool stuff on this stream. This was probably one of the better streams we've done. So thank you for enjoying the ride along with me. Hope you had fun. I know it's rather 
late slash early, depending on where you live. But thank you for watching, as always. Uh, I hope you guys stay blessed, stay, stay spooky, stay cool, uh, and stay tuned for more spirit sneak peeks and just Halloween stuff in general. I have new videos coming your way soon, including prop builds, haunt builds, uh, more horror movie stuff, because I know you guys like all of that. Uh, so it's it's never a dull moment, especially on Haunt Former. New videos should be coming out every Saturday. But as it gets closer to Halloween, they're kind of randomized, but but at least every Saturday, so at least one video a week. Uh, if I if I don't do, then I'll probably make up for one on an additional day. So, uh, uh, yeah, thank you to everyone who's saying bye. Uh, glad you guys could stay around for so long. I will, and I can't believe, I think this is the longest stream that's lasted the longest because there's still 34 people watching. And you know what? If you love something, you got to set it free. So we're going to take this stream. We're going to let it, that was a bat, but we're going to, we're going to set it free, but I hope you guys have a great night. Stay spooky, stay awesome and stay blessed. Remember as always. For all things Halloween, this is Hornformer. <laughs>
Ethan's skeletons. <laughs> Oh. 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 <laughs> I did not mean to. I did not mean to do that. What am I even doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Guess I'm prepping my bed. Oh boy, the joy of watching Haunt Former make his bed. Ugh. Seriously though, I'll probably have to probably have to end this stream in a second. How many people are still watching? Thirty-five people have no life. Just kidding. Fix haunt former, he's broken. Mac is a murderer. Well, I'm back. What's going on? We wish we knew too. Mac has officially left the chat, and Cam is here. Cam is Mac backwards, in case you couldn't figure that out. I am here. What a 20-year-old does at 3 a.m. in the morning. This is the spooky hour. Alexa, play Spooky Scary Skeletons Remixed. Here's Spooky Scary Skeletons Remix by Halloween Kids on Amazon Music. Uh -huh. Wow, I like that. Oh, that's horrible, Alexa. Stop. I can't get into that. That's that was horrible. What? That's not the Andrew Gold version. That was sad. All right, now I got to get that out of my system. Alexa, play Spooky Scary Skeletons by Andrew Gold. Spooky Scary Skeletons by Andrew Gold, starting now on Amazon better, Music. Better, better. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock I've officially your lost my mind. Spooky, scary skeletons <laughs> speak with such a screech. Oh, man. They get Chucky in this action, huh? Chucky wants to, to whip in Nay Nay. We're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. Alexa, stop before I get a copyright infringement. <laughs> you just watched a 20-year-old whip and nay nay to spooky, scary skeletons at 2.24 a.m. You feel better about yourself now? Good. It's good to be weird. You know why? Because normal people are boring and scary. So be weird. It's good for you. Seriously, though, I'm going to head out for the night. But make some of those stupid things that I just did into memes because that's funny. But I hope you all have a great night. Truly stay blessed. Stay awesome. And remember, for all things Halloween, this is Haunt Former.